Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and in today's video, I want to show you some different ways to hyperlink um, your document. So, hyperlinking is when you add um, a link to a text or an image or some kind of other element so that when people have that document or uh, a website or whatever, if they click it, it goes to that website or whatever you hyperlinked it to. Now, hyperlinks work either in PDF documents or websites, just so you know. So whenever you're designing something within Canva, if you want to use the hyperlinks, you have to export it or download it as either a website or a PDF document. I believe presentations work as well. Um, but um, in this video, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will just work with a letter document um, that you can download um, as PDF, for example. Uh, you cannot use hyperlinks within images, so JPEGs or um, PNG, doc PNG files or, or videos either. Uh, there is no hyperlinking in that. So only presentations, websites, or PDF documents. So, you know. Um, now, let's see how to actually use hyperlinking. So typically, hyperlinks can be used within text boxes, images, and elements too. So we'll see how these different things will work. So for a text box, let's say this is your text box. I have already um, added some texts and an image in this document. Now. For text boxes, you can do a couple of things. You can either link the entire text box, which is not good practice because you typically don't want to link an entire wall of text to a third party website link or anything. That's just not good practice. People don't do that. Um, but just in case you wanted to, this is how you do it. You simply click the text box to select it. And then uh, this floating bar will show up. The, uh, if you follow my yellow blob cursor, this is the floating bar. So whenever you select anything, this, uh, this floating bar shows up. And then in this floating bar, there's these three dots that says more when you hover over it. So if you click the three dots, some more options will show up. And then find and click the link option and then add a link. Now, where it says enter a link or search, um, within Canva, when you're designing something in Canva, you can actually link to another Canva design or a page within the, uh, the design that you're currently on. But for the purpose of this video, we are using third-party uh, websites or links outside of Canva. So for example, we will use my website link, thesiteblogger.com, like so and click done and yeah so the entire text box is now hyperlinked and canva actually gives you a visual cue because when something is hyperlinked uh, the text automatically gets an underline so that tells you that okay it is hyperlinked another way to tell that it has been successfully hyperlinked is if you select it canva shows you uh, in the floating bar canva shows you the link that is hyperlinked too so that's how you know that um, this is now hyperlinked. Now, I don't want to actually um, add a link to entire text box. That's just not good design practice. So I will do Control Z to undo everything I did. And if you didn't know, Control Z, or if you're on a Mac, Command Z undoes or undoes whatever uh, the last action you took. So um, yeah, now that it's not hyperlinked anymore, Typically, what you would probably want to do is you want to hyperlink a part of the text. So whichever part of the text you want to hyperlink to a website, simply highlight that part of the text. So for this case, let's say that this is the part of the text I want to hyperlink. So when you highlight it, you should see the link icon in the floating bar top. And if you don't see it, no worries, simply click the three dots and then you should be able to see link here. In any case, click the link icon and then add the link like so. 
like done. And there are actually two different display modes available, especially when you're hyperlinking only part of the text. Um, if you click it, if you click the drop down, you should see embed or link. I will show you, I will she, uh, I will show you how embed works in a second, but for now, let's leave it to link and then click done. And that's it. And you know how this is working because um, that part of the text is now underlined. And also, if you select that text box, you should see the link up top uh, in this floating bar. So you know that it's worked. So now you can do some stylistic um, things. So like I said, whenever something is hyperlinked, Canva automatically adds an underline if it's a, if it's a text that you have um, hyperlinked. Now, uh, that's, that's nice. Uh, but if you didn't want that underline and instead you want to use something else to uh, show that it is um, a hyperlink, you could highlight that text once more. And from the top floating bar where you can change um, text styles, you can click the underline option here to get rid of the underline and add you know, some other type of stylisting. For example, you can change the text color to give it a different text color, like so. So as you can see, now we have gotten rid of the underline, but it's now a different color because sometimes people show different uh, colors for hyperlinks. But you can also do both. Like, uh, for example, you can have both underline and a different text color. So you can hi uh, highlight it once again, click the underline option, and then now you have both underline and um, a different text color. So anyway, it's just, you know, it's it, you have already um, hyperlinked that part of the text. Now, this is just uh, some stylistic choices that you can make to uh, make sure that your hyperlinked text um, kind of uh, is a little different so that when other people are looking at it, um, it's easy for them to know that, OK, this is a link. Anyway, so these are a couple of different ways you can um, stylistically make sure that your hyperlinks are um, standing out from the regular text. All right, so that's how you hyperlink text. Now, let me add another text box here. And to add a text box, simply click the T um, key on your keyboard if you're working on desktop. And I have some lorem ipsum here, so I'll just uh, copy some of it. Go back to Canva, paste it. All right. So uh, remember the embed option? I just want to show you how the embed option works. So you hyper uh, highlight the portion of the text you want to hyperlink, and then click the link icon, and then I'm typing my website URL, click done, and then from display mode, click embed, and see what happened? It basically switched the entire text box with an embedded version of the link. Now, I personally don't really like it because it kind of, if you have like a wall of text and you only just hyperlinked part of the text, Embedding simply gets rid of all of the text inside your um, text box and switches that with embed. So typically, if you want the embedded option, the way I would do it is basically instead of having part of the text, um, because that way you just saw what happened. Whenever you added the embed, it just gets rid of the entire thing. So typically when you're trying to embed something, um, you should make sure that there's no text that you don't, if you want, if there are texts that you don't want to be replaced, um, then simply add a different text box. So add a different text box. And then you can highlight the text here. Let 
like so. And that way, whatever text you added doesn't get um, replaced, like so. All right, so these are some of the ways you can add hyperlinks. All right, now let me show you how to hyperlink an entire image. So that's simple. I have an image right here. Just click the image, um, click the more, the three dots from the floating bar, find link, and then add your link, type your link, and that's it. It's done. Now you can't really, there are no visual cues here because it's not text. For images, there's no visual cue that it is hyperlinked. Um, but if you do select it, then you should still see the link in the floating bar, which tells you that, yes, you have successfully hyperlinked it. But if you uh, download this as a PDF document, then you should be able to click it and go to the link, which we will see in a minute. But before that, I want to show you one last thing you can do with hyperlinks. Let's add a table. So to add a table, you can just uh, click the forward slash key in your keyboard and then search for table like so. And let's say I have a two by four table. I want to move it below all of these stuff like that. All right, now let's add some text. And let's say that you want to hyperlink this text. So once again, simple, just highlight the text, uh, which in this case says text, and then click link, like so, and then type your URL, click done, done. And that's how you add or add a hyperlink inside a table if you're working with tables. Finally, add an element, and the element works kind of the same way that um, images do. So let's uh, let's see some graphics here, just some random graphics, uh, maybe some stickers. I actually want um, not animated. Okay, so no stickers then, just. Um, just some graphics of, I don't know, arrow maybe. How about this one? I'm not trying to make like pretty designs or anything, just adding whatever. All right, so this is an element. And let's say that I want to hyperlink this element. So I will click it to select, click the three dots, click link once again, like so. Done. All right. So now I have hyperlinks inside some text, an image, an embedded hyperlink, hyperlink inside a table, and hyperlinked element. Now let me download that PDF document and show you how uh, it actually functions on the other end. So click share to download and click then download. And remember, if you have links, you cannot um, download it as PNG or JPEG or anything else or video or GIF or whatever. You have to download it as a PDF document. So there are two different PDF documents available, standard and print. Print is a, a high quality print. So if you're downloading a PDF document and you're thinking about printing it out, then you can use print. But in this case, we'll just leave it at standard. It's a slightly smaller file. Um, so I will just click download. And it is downloading, taking a little too long than I would like. Maybe because I have all these different elements, I don't know. Or maybe it's just a little slow today, who knows. I guess I could pause the video or the recording, but I don't really feel like it because it can happen any second now. Come on, okay, done. 
took a really long time for who knows why. Now, let's see if the hyperlink worked. So this is our first hyperlink. So if I click it, as you can see, it went to my website, so I know it successfully hyperlinked. Let's get back to the document. And the second hyperlink is the image. So if I click the image, yep, it worked just fine. Let's get back to the document, and this is the embedded link. But for some reason, the embed is not working. And that's because embeds don't work on PDF. Embeds only work inside uh, websites. So now it's just a nice little image. Um, so lesson learned. Um, and it was completely intentional, so I could show you that embeds don't work inside PDFs. Actually, no, it's not intentional. I totally forgot that embeds didn't work inside PDF, but now you know. So embeds only work inside um, websites. So if you were to design a website using Canva, then this would work. Um, if you had uh, published it as a website, then this would work, but inside a PDF, embeds actually uh, they kind of look like an image and not actually, uh, it doesn't actually link to anything. Anyway, so let's try the two other things. First, uh, this one, the last two. This one is a table, a link inside a table. And yes, it worked. And the finally, the final one is the arrow element. And yes, it did work. So now you know how links work. And one final reminder, don't use embed for uh, PDF documents because it doesn't work. It just converts it into an image. Um, so yeah, embeds only work when you're publishing a design as a website. And that's it. That's today's video. Hopefully linking, hyperlinking is clear to you now how to do that in different um, elements or different images, texts, the different ways to link and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I will see you in a different video sometime soon. Bye.